Good morning, Tokyo. We have a lot of positive news together this morning. First flight of CITV director. On March 18th, CITV director Yume Sadakata took a flight for the first time in her life. Kurita's carry on case was found quickly in the airport. Siwa researcher Riku Natori, also known as Kurita for his nickname is Siwa, could find his suitcase rapidly in the checked luggage. The launch of Moku Moku One failed. The launch of the Stratosphere Pro Moku Moku One on March 19th in Hokkaido has failed. Admirable evasion by Michi. Siwa researcher Miki Aoyama, also known as Michi for her nickname is Siwa, showed an astonishing evasion from balloons during the launch of Moku Moku One. Good morning everyone, this is Tokyo Positive News on CITV, I'm Kazumi Muraki from Odaiba Studio. Today we have a special feature of the Stratosphere Pro Moku Moku One. Here are some positive episodes from the launch in Hokkaido, so let's take a closer look. Our CITV director flew on an airplane for the first time in her life. The plane hadn't even taken off yet, but she was in a great mood. Yes, he was the first flight of CITV director, Yumi Sadakata. According to her, I didn't know there were so many planes. I've only seen one airplane flying the sky at a time. As the speed gradually increased during takeoff, she said, It's like a roller coaster! And when the plane took off, I'm floating! She seemed to be so excited. This picture was taken after landing. As you see, she looked so satisfied. When we interviewed her later at the airport she arrived, she said, I didn't know airplane mode actually works in the airplane. Oh, we can only say good for her. Here is the news that follows. After getting off the plane, CR researcher Riku Natori, also known as Kurita for his nickname in the lab, could find his suitcase rapidly in the checked baggage. Here is Kurita's suitcase coming down the stream. So fast, it's already been taken over by him. This suitcase resembles the question block from Super Mario Bros. We interview him about this moment. I can't wait to see what the super suitcase does next! Yahoo! Here's the news that follows. Unfortunately, the launch of the Stratosphere Pro Moku Moku One of Hero City Hokkaido on March 19th failed. Zero Stratosphere Pro Moku Moku Series is a plan to create a vehicle that will realize a future that anyone can easily access the stratosphere. This is at an altitude of 35 kilometers, three times higher than an airplane's fly. The first launch of this magnificent project took place last month. The Stratosphere Pro Moku Moku One was about to fly high into the sky. This is a picture of the site inspection the day before the launch. We decided to use a river bed in Obihiro City, Hokkaido because we could have enough space to launch. Simulations were held until midnight and preparations were also made throughout the night until the sun came up. Kurita, the Hatena box owner, is holding the main body of the craft. Due to the confidential nature of the information, we cannot show you the inside of the box, but Krita, the creator of the craft, said, I put my life into this electronic circuit. How could such a well-prepared launch have failed? That was due to the strong wind. Everyone worked together to inflate the balloons, but as you can see, they were shaken by the wind when we left them waiting. And actually, these balloons broke a few minutes later. We have only three balloons left. Six less than primary, so the circumstances were devastating. Ship. Go. Gusto. Go. Here is the completed exterior of Moku Moku One.
closer we go to the river, the stronger the wind became. But I didn't give up regardless of how desperate the situation was. It's time to launch. Okay. T minus five, four, three, two, one, and lift off. <laughs> After flying horizontally in strong winds, they got caught in the forest on the other side of the river. Suppressing their disappointment, they all went to rescue the probe. It was tough to walk on the road with so much snow on it. But it was the best, most Hokkaido-like experience of the trip, they said. And they finally found the aircraft. Run! The plane was intact. They seemed to be so glad. We also had a direct interview with Michi, who was the project manager for this project. She was literally positive, so are they. I would like to upload their own efforts to fly the craft high into the sky with the hope of the entire human race. Here is the last news for today. Did you guys notice that the project manager Michi was a great move during the VTR earlier? You know, let's see it again. Okay, T minus 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and lift off! That's right. Why the probe didn't quite float, Michi did her best to bend over and avoid the aircraft. Fantastic! If she hadn't avoided, Moku Moku One wouldn't have even made it to the other side of the river. So, in a way, the craft was saved by her. And that's our show for this hour. Be sure to stay tuned on CATV channel. Thank you so much for watching us and have a great day. And lastly, let's say goodbye with the video shot by Moku Moku One. Thank you very much to everyone who supported us through crowdfunding. Our challenge is still on. Our challenge continues forever.